In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called insert, delete, and get random uh, big O of one. So we're given a randomized, a randomized set class, and we want to uh, define those methods, those four methods. So in this case, the first one is a uh, constructor, which we initialize our data structure here. And we want to, ins in this case, insert, basically insert value to this set. And we're going to return true um, if the set did not contain this value. And uh, if we're going to return false if um, if the value is already there in our set, we're going to remove an element if uh, if if that value uh, does not exist. We're going to return false if it does exist and we removed it. That means we're going to return true. And for get a random element from the set, we're just going to get a random element. In this case, we want to return an element random element from the current set of elements. And it is guaranteed that uh, at least one element exists. So there's no, um, yeah, so in this case, we want to have each and every single element have the same probability of being returned. Okay. So in this case, we are going to have example, right? You can see we have an example where we create an instance of this class. We can insert one. So in this case, let's say I have a set, right? So I can insert one onto it. I can also be able to remove two. In this case, two does not exist in our set. So we cannot be able to remove two. And uh, if I were to insert two and I get random, in this case, it should either be one or two. If I were to remove one, right? In this case, I remove one. Um, I only have two in our set, right? If I were to insert two, because two is already in our set, we're gonna return false. And then we also have a method called get random, which basically gets the random element. But in this case, we only have one element in our set. So we're going to return two. So how can we solve this problem? So one way we can do this, we can use a hash set, right? So in this case, if I were to use a hash set, we can be able to insert and remove element in constant time complexity on average, right? We can be able to remove, we can add one, remove two, remove uh, add to and remove one, right? We can do all those things. But if I want to get random, then what I have to do is I have to convert this hash set into a list, into a list. And to convert this entire hash set to a list, we have to use a big O of time, a big O of n for the time complexity, right? For converting the hash set to a list. Because we cannot get a random element in our hash set because there is no index and we can't really um, just say this is the size of the hash set. I want to get a random index. That's not going to work, right? So we had to convert that into a list to do that. So what we can do better is we can use a different data structure to solve this problem. In this case, what we can do is we can use a hash map and array list. So the goal is the, the idea is this, right? We're going to have a table where we keep the value as the key and the index as the value. And we're also going to have array list which basically keep track of our elements. And the reason why we use array list is because we, for this get random method, right? This get random method um, basically takes uh, a, a value. Sorry, in this case, we, we going to get a random index from the current size of the array. Because array, we can be able to retrieve item in constant time by using a index, right? And uh, we're going to get a random value within the size of the array. And then in this case, we're just going to get that element in our array. So that will give us a constant time for getting the random. But if I want to retrieve, right, or if I want to insert an element or delete an element, how can we be able to use array or array list to keep it in a constant time complexity? In this case, what we can do is we can use a um, hash table, right? So in this case, if I were to insert element, of course, when we insert element to array list, it's going to be constant time on average, right? Because there could be a situation where we have to insert element, but we have to adjust the size of the array. So it's going to be um, constant time on average. So it's not like constant time for sure. So if I have array like this, where we have one, two, three, right? In this case, we have array list. If I want to, um, in this case, if I want to uh, remove two in this case, then what I have to do is I have to iterate the entire array to find that element, remove it, and then you know re resize our array list. But this will give us a time complexity of big O of n. That's why we need a hash table. And 
in this way, we can be able to first have a table where we have the key is going to be the value of the array. In this case, two has a index of one, right? So the value is going to be the index. So then what we can do is we can um, get that index. In this case, the index is one. Once we get the index, so the index is one, uh, we can be able to set that element to be three, right? Set that element to be the tail node or the tail value. In this case, it's going to be three. And then we can just delete the tail value. Because if I if we were to delete the tail value, um, it's going to be constant time on average, right? Because we still have to re re resize our, our array. But the thing is that if we were to remove the, the, the last element, we don't have to iterate the entire array to find that element and remove it, right? So in this case, we don't, we can be able to keep this in a constant time complexity. So in this case, we just remove the last element. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to set the table, right? In this case, our current table has one has an index of zero, three has an index of two before we delete two, right? So now what we had to do is we're just going to delete this element in our table. Element two has an index of one. We're going to delete that key pair uh, value. So key value pair, and then we're basically updating its values key to its new index. In this case, the index is going to be two, or sorry, one, right? So we're going to have one for this element, <clears throat> right? So we have two elements that we have in our set, right? And then in this case, we if we were to insert another element, then we can definitely do that. We can have uh, four right here, and then we're just going to update. Four is going to be the, the size of the... Uh, yeah, this, the, the, the size of the array before we insert four. So it's going to be two, right? So we have four has an index of two. Okay. And then if I want to insert, uh, delete one, in this case, if I want to delete one, then we can just set the, uh, this note, this value right here to be the, to be equal to the tail value. So in this case, the tail value is four, right? So we have four here and then we delete the tail value. And then we're also going to, um, update or delete this one right here. Right, so one does not exist, and then four is going to have an index of zero. Right, so now you know how we can solve this problem using array list and hash table. Now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. Basically, what I did here is I created a a table as well as array list, and I also have a, a property called random. Basically, gets a random value. So in this case, we have a method called insert, which insert a value to the set. Uh, if this value contains in our uh, in our uh, in our data structure, right, in, in our uh, table, then we're just going to return false. Then we're going to uh, insert this value, okay, and then we're going to set the 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 index. In this case, it's going to be array dot size, right? So in this case, it's going to be the size of the 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 array, which is going to be the new index. And then we're adding this element um, to onto the array. And then at the end, we're going to return true because we successfully insert this element. And then the most challenging part, I would say, is probably the remove method, which takes a, a element. And then we check to see if this element exists. If it doesn't, ex if it does exist, right? If it does contains, um, then we just go, sorry, if it doesn't contains, we're just going to return false. Um, then we're going to find that element's index. So once we find that element's index, if that index does not equal to the tail nodes or the tail values index, then we can just, um, just like how I mentioned here, right? We have, let's say one, two, three, if I want to delete two, what I will have to do is I have to retrieve that element. In this case, two has an index of one. We retrieve the index, in this case, index is one. So we're just going to set the, this element right here to be the tail value. So in this case, we're going to set this to three, right? And then the, the, the current value, right? In this case, the tail value is three and the current value is three. We set array set index is equal to tail value and then array dot remove, right? The last element in this case is the tail value, right? Then we're going to also have to delete this one as well in our table. And then we're going to update um, the table for element three, which has a index now is equal to one. So in this case, that's, that, that's for this part. If I have a situation where index is actually equal to tail value, 
then all we have to do is we just have to remove that in our um, in our array. And then once we remove that, we also have to remove that in our table as well. And at the end, we're just going to return true because we successfully removed that element. For getting random, it's pretty easy. We're just going to set the boundary for the size of the array so that we can get a random index within our array. And then in this case, we're just going to say return array.get random index. So you can see here, this will give us a constant time complexity on average, right? On average. So if I were to run our code and if I were to submit, and you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve the uh, insert, delete, get random, constant time complexity uh, legal problem.